still has the same character, with a few exceptions. But I'm one of those exceptions, yeah. Because I still play Falcon. Got to rep the man. But he is the people's champ. Oh, Shane having trouble. The Wii U, Shane uses a classic, or SS uses a classic yeah. controller. The sync button on the Wii U is ridiculously tiny. You need like a pencil or some sort of sharp, narrow object to poke into it. All right, Honestly, I think, I think they're using my, uh, my Wii U, which means that Mewtwo King's tag is on my Wii U now. That's awesome. That's, that's how you think. Okay, yeah, so Lime plays Yoshi now. Bless you. Thank you. Yes, okay, so he now plays Yoshi. Yeah, like I said, a lot of people change characters. Yeah, they absolutely did. Yoshi, I mean, Yoshi's excellent arm. choice. Yoshi's so good in this game, his armor on his... He's got armor on jump. So let's see, I know... Uh, I, I hope our uh, big MVG sponsor is watching this Yoshi play right now. Yeah, and, but, but like I was just saying, Yoshi's got armor on jump. It's so on good. Jump it's so of good, man. all yeah. things. It's crazy. Um, and so he good. now has the ability to jump out of shield, which is a huge boon to Yoshi. Yeah. Yoshi could not do that in the other games, which was poor. It was <coughs> unfortunate for our dinosaur. But let's get this going. All right. We got SFA SS versus Line. So I saw SFA uh, at the first tournament here that was held in Endgame. And I actually spoke to him after his first match. And I noticed that he was using a classic controller yep. from the Wii. And I was stunned. Yeah. No, it was a classic controller. A Not only is it a classic controller, it's in a specific older version of the classic controller. Um, but what about this one? So Ness just wants to space Yoshi out with four yeah. airs, wants to get in on him. Yoshi's entire goal is to keep away with eggs and use Yoshi, his incredible aerials like forward air and neutral. Wow. Ooh, so good. The, the kid is getting... Oh, man. Good so forward Yoshi's air. forward air is very good. It yeah. auto-cancels early, very low lag. Uh, so good down, down throw. throw. Oh, missed it, though. Missed the fall. So down throw, Ness basically has to read the DI. They can either DI up, and Ness can get an up air off it, or they can DI uh, away, Wait. and he'll get a forward air. So depending on what the opponent does, Ness can do something. But right now, and that won't be the stop, but he picks, the, picks it up. Good okay, thunder. good Nair. Sends him the other way. Very smart of him to get the reverse hit on the Nair and send him back I off the stage. But Ness is back on stage. And I feel like um, unless you're playing a character with a kill throw, good your throw. percent don't matter that much oh. past kill throw. Do, 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 would you agree? Like the difference between Ness being at 150 and Ness being at like 130, you know, you're gonna die to the same stuff. Yeah, you're gonna you, unless much unless you're playing someone like Ness or Rob with throw. a kill throw. See, and just like that, Ness is able to hold on to this stock. Uh, Lime really needs to clutch it out. He needs to get some damage in. He at least needs to kill Ness before Ness gets yes. way too much more damage in. If because right now Ness has super super rage mechanic. mechanic. Yeah, and that rage mechanic is so good in this game. But you know, this is an, this is an example. A lot of people call rage exclusively a comeback mechanic. I disagree. I think that if you take the first stock, no, I think that if you take the first stock and you can hang on to your stock, you are playing a better character as long yeah. as you're living. Abs no, I completely agree. I don't think it's a comeback mechanic at all. I yeah. think it's a well, great it's, well, comeback mechanic. It is a comeback mechanic. It is a comeback mechanic. But it's a I great, think. it's a comeback mechanic that encompasses what makes Smash great. Yeah. Which is the constant, ever-changing flow of attacks at different percents. Ooh, goes for a back air out of shield. Rage adds, like, sort of, not, I wouldn't say this desperation, but this, this assurance yeah. that Boom. the more Boom. damage you're going to do, yeah. it really brings out, like, you <laughs> Shane, a, Shane, like, Shane's like, <sighs> if you have that 100%, if you're in that rage mechanic and then you're moving on, Absolutely. With, with, and you got that up, uh, you're up on by one stock, stack on that damage yeah. as much as possible, man. That's going to do a lot for you. So I wonder if we're gonna see a character switch. So there's there's two ways um, Lime can look at this. He can say, what? What? "Hang on one second. Oh. There we go. Three, two, one. 
So sticking with Yoshi, I still think it's a really good choice for him to do. He was being super aggressive in the beginning of the first match. Yeah. And he was really pushing forward on getting those combos, getting those aerials off. And he can keep distance, but also get in when he needs to on Ness. He can make that a yeah. game I think that Yoshi has very good follow-ups on platforms. Oh, that he honestly should have just foot school. Footstool, footstool, footstool absolutely destroys Yoshi. Good home because, run bat for the kill. Because Footstool takes away all of your jumps. And since Yoshi doesn't have a traditional up B, he's done. Yeah, he it's, relies it's on his It's jump. his biggest weakness as a character, and that's it. Very, very unfortunate. So SAFA moving on. Well, I'm going to I'll, losers. Game two, a little more convincing than game one. Definitely a Just little a more bit. Um, 